Okay, everybody, there's a few things over here on the third position, it's very important to re recall. Okay, so before we go and I appreciate all the connections and the hand positions, it's really important to really know that in order for my partner to have a good defense, he needs to have a couple of things in place. Notice his elbows needs to be really close here because if he has the gaps too big like this, my hands would have already gone there and reached the collar, which is the cross collar over here. Look, can you come up please, professor? My hand would have gone, I would have got this already. So one of the steps that I find difficult is when somebody defends that very well. And this is what professor here is doing. You know, the gap's a little bit smaller. So in order for me to get a good control, and right now I don't have any connection, so I will reach for the colors and I will put the weight of my small, my back's gonna be on the top of his lower back. My other leg is gonna be around, so it's kind of a, the weight of my leg helps me to keep pulling him down and the hands pulling him to this direction. Once the weight, can you see my toes actually pushing back a little? He doesn't wanna be exposed that way, so he keeps countering a little bit. And this is a moment where I'm attached to his hips. He's not freely, very free here. And now I can start planning how to create space for me to put the hand on the collar that I'm looking for. One of the things I do, I offer the threat over, reaching to the far collar. I expect that he's gonna use this arm to protect against the hand. When he protects the neck for using this arm, it gives me an opening on this side where I can reach deeper. If my hands can go around and grab straight away, that is perfect. But sometimes I will have to switch sides to have a deeper hand. Notice I have the same position on the other side and then I pull back to the other side. So this cross collar grip here makes more sense. Some people make this grip super tight. I don't like to be super tight because it makes me really attached to the arm. My arm can be really caught up. So I go a little lower. So I value the control of the hip, not of the collar on the neck. So I wanna be really attached to the hip. My weight can never go too forward because I can get rolled over. So I actually am pulling him back using the toes and the arm and the elbow pinches over here right by the side of his hips. So I'm not pulling just back, but I'm actually pulling into a diagonal, making him feel quite uncomfortable in this position. I'm kind of dressing him around. I'm really, really long here around him. And now it becomes a, the next thought. I want to be able to perhaps attack him if I can. Of course, I want to take the back here as well, but if I can get a grip from turtle and finish the match, I will. So I'm looking for that right now. So one of the things I do, I try to threat him on the arm so he kind of get worried about it so he can feel focused here. So I'm constantly diverting my, 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 his thoughts to other things from what I want. So I'm, I'm making problems here, look, and from here I'm pushing, he's trying to fight back. When I push, he usually fights back which opens the range here. So I do a little press when he opens, my hand follows straight away, look. And then guys, I'm gripping the collar. Now at this moment, look what this looks like. I've got the collar and I've got the, the grip on the bar. Now I've got the perfect position where I'm gonna stump, which my left arm is around the shoulder and in perfect position. My leg is a little bit further forward here. Give me the chance to step around. When I step around this way, I just need to make sure that I lock his shoulder. So I will land locking the shoulder right here. Up, trap, and continue to pull pressure on the neck. So I have a lot of leverage. That will be very difficult for him to do any sort of escape here because his head is really trapped. His head, there's no space for his head to come out underneath my arm because when I had the shoulder, everything was really locked up. So I close my elbows and keep squeezing. I've got a really powerful position here, which was set up. That could be also the lead of other techniques, not just to finish the, the choke, but to actually open him as a way to protect when he worries too much about the neck, he gives other chances for hooks and other things. So basically, I love doing this attack, especially initially, to be able to test my partner in really controlling him, find the right grips, and then develop from there. Okay. Thank you.